Welcome to Center for Online Education. Friends, today we are going to start with introduction to business statistics. Business statistics being taught in BCom as well as in MCom. In MCom, we used to deal this in second semester. So here we are going to say that what is business statistics and why it is being used. So let's see. The first thing is this that the term statistics has been derived from the Latin word or the German word. In Latin word it is known as status and in German word it is known as statistics. So more of this is being taken from German word because we used to pronounce it as statistics. So here statistics word is very important. So why we used to use statistics? This is a big question which a person used to ask. So in the ancient times, in the political state, we used to have calculate the number of people we have to recruit in the army. So how many people are going to be recruited in the army so that there is a balance between the army and the general people. So for this statistics is being taken care of. Now it is also being calculated to take the total amount of revenue that is to be calculated. Because in the ancient time, the kings used to have calculation of the revenue which is being generated by different states. So here, statistics is being highly used for the number of people who are going to be recruited in the army as well as the revenue generated by the kings. So this is the ancient form from where the statistics is being derived. Now, let's define that what is being statistics. There are two renowned statisticians, one is Baule and the second one is Yule and Kandal, who has given a very good definition in a very simple form. Baule has said that statistics are numerical statements of fact in any department of inquiry placed in relation to each other. Means it is a set of numerical data. It is a statement of numerical data which is being used by any department to calculate what is being there. In Yule and Kendall's has said that, that by statistics we mean quantitative data affected to a marked extent by multiplicity of the causes. Means there are different causes which is being there. We used to see that what is the revenue generated. We have to see that what is the decision making which we have to take and this decision making depends upon the different factors. So for qualified data and quantified data has been taken over here to get the exact location and the position that if we are going to take the decision, which decision is going to give us the best results. Therefore, statistics is being used. Now, statistics is a mathematical science pertaining to the collection, analysis, interpretation or explanation and presentation of the data. So, in statistics, the first thing we are going to do is we have to collect the data. We have to collect the data from the respondent. We have to collect the data from the secondary sources. And after collection of data, you are going to analyze the data. And this analysis is being done by the basis of different statistical tools given by the different statisticians. Now, after analysis, you are going to interpret it that this data, this series is getting, giving us this result. And on that interpretation, you are going to explain and present the data that this is the way why which we are going to get the specific result. It provides tools for predicting and forecasting the economic activities. Means for all the economic activities and forecasting the economic activities, statistics is being highly used. It is useful for an academician, government and business as a whole. In academics, as you all know, that in different subjects, statistics are being taught. In government, all the policies can be made by the help of statistics because data used to give a fact and figures on which reliability and accuracy of data is being required and is being done. And for business, all the business activities, whether it is economics, trade, commerce, Everything requires a decision making and this decision making can easily be done by the help of statistics. Now, statistics is being defined into two senses. In plural senses and in singular senses. So, first we see that what is a statistics in singular senses. 
In singular sense, statistics refers to a science which comprises methods that are used in the collection, analysis, interpretation and presentation of numerical data. In simple terms, when we talk about singular sense of statistics, we say that we are going to collect the data and on the basis of that collection, we are going to analyze the data. On the basis of analysis, we are going to make interpretations and interpretations is going to give us a result and on that result, we are going to forecast. So, this activity is being numerically interpreted. All these activities are being based on the numerical data. Therefore, when we used to do this, we used to define that this is being the term which is being the singular sense of statistics. In pillar senses, statistics refers to numerical facts and figures collected in a systematic manner with a specific purpose in any field of study means in a systematic manner. When we are going to predict the past on the basis of the past data, if we are going to predict the future on the basis of the past data, if we are going to take out the relationship between two or more than two series, if we are going to say that what is the relationship between the two or more series. So here in a systematic manner, we are going to use the statistics. So whenever we are going to use the statistics in a systematic manner, it comes into plural senses. In this sense, statistics is also aggregates of facts expressed in numerical forms. Means here more than two series are being taken care of. Pred pre predicting future on the basis of past data, we are directly going to reply regression analysis. So there are different statistical tools which are helping the statistician to get out the best result. So when we are going to take the statistics in an aggregate manner, we are going to say that we are using the statistics in a plural sense. Now characteristics about statistics fact. What are the main characteristics of statistics facts? This is being very important for the study. So the first one is aggregate of facts. Means here we are collecting the data. And on the data, there are different data. If you have got a sample size of more than 500, so there are data of more than 500 people who are going to take. So we have to take out the mean value, mode value, median value, and on that value, we are going to calculate the correlation, regression, chi-square, different statistical tools. So, statistics, the first characteristic is it is an aggregate of facts. Second one is numerically expressed. Means all of the data which you are going to take over here is numerically expressed. Whether it is a qualified data or quantified data. If it is a quantified data, there is no problem. It is being expressed in 1, 2, 3, 4. But when it is a qualified data, you have to take it. You have to give the rank. And on the basis of that rank, you are going to express it into 1, 2, 3, 4. So here, whatever data you are going to take, it is being expressed into numerical values. Third one is data affected by multiplicity of the causes. Means if you have got different series, different data, you have got a data of 500 people, some are saying that this is good, some are saying this is bad. So mean value, standard deviation, reliability, accuracy, everything is being taken into consideration. So here, whatever data is there, it is being dependent, it is being affected by the multiplicity of the causes, means there are different causes which affect the data. So here, to get the best result, multiplicity of the data is being taken into consideration. Enumerated according to the reasonable standard and accuracy. So for the best result, we have to see that the deviation is very less. So for the best result, when the deviation is less, we take out the standard deviation and find that there is less deviation. We take out the reliability test and if we find that the reliability test is good, we say that our data is reasonable, standard and accurate. Collected in a systematic manner. This is very important. Your data must be collected into a very systematic manner. 
the questionnaire which you are going to frame or the questions you are going to ask in an interview it must be in a pattern manner it must be designed into a systematic manner why because if you are going to have an ascending or descending series automatically your interpretation and analysis is going to be very easy collected for predetermined purpose as you all know that whenever you are going to apply any statistical tool you are going to frame hypothesis you have certain objectives and these objectives are going to be tested so here the data which you are going to collect is for a specific purpose if you are going to say that how many people are vaccinated from the covid vaccine so here there is a paid determined purpose and according to that you are going to take the data from the people who are being vaccinated for that specific disease now place into relation to other so there must be a causal relationship between the two data which you are going to take place if that there is no relationship between the two series we are not going to apply the statistics so whenever we are going to apply the statistics there must be the series are placed in relation to one and another so these are the characteristics of the statistical facts which we take into consideration while we used to do the statistical facts now you i hope you have understood that what is statistics why the statistics are taken consider and what are the characteristics of statistics i hope it is very useful to you thank you mm -hmm.